Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we'll be playing Survive the Night. Um, I'm gonna be giving you guys a few tips that um work for me. It might not work for everybody, but it does work for me. Um, that's how I reached rank 41 quickly and easily, guys. So I this is one of my favorite games. So I thought, why not just make um a tip video, you know? So my first tip is when you're in the game like when i'm in the game i would prefer um something like not something that would attack the um slasher because that's just it sometimes it doesn't really work because the slasher might be really pro and might just see through those tricks right like for example um if you have the bear trap or like okay, okay a good a good example is if you have like a road a road flare it's gonna make the slasher blind and slow so basically the whole screen is gonna be white for a slasher right but the slasher might see through those tricks right and you never know because that slasher might just be a pro so i don't think we can risk it so what i would prefer to, normally what i prefer to do is um i, I use the night vision and then i if it's outdoor like the map is outdoors like the as um no like church or let's say the graveyard oh this is a nice slasher anyway so if it's something outdoor i would prefer to use night vision and hide in the bushes and then i would say like this like if suppose there's a slasher right over there right he's just running around he doesn't see me as soon as he goes away i would just go into another bush so he won't detect me you know and every time you get the message message you've been this is for this tip is for um people who just started the game like while you're hiding in a locker a bush if you just explore the map and you get the uh, message you've been detected that doesn't mean it's only you everybody who's playing in the server gets that message because the slasher has used the detect um um gear, not the gear the power um detection power so he might not choose to find you but then he might so you might wanna just like change positions of where you're hiding or anything then if you for this is um that's it for this one now we're gonna go for slashers um for slashers let me check which slasher i have all the slashers i have guys mm, let me see yes so i i have the bunny because I, is there a new slasher? I should buy the new slasher. Anyways, um, each each slasher has a new power. Like every slasher has their own different powers. Like some, like Freddy. Um, he has oh, I'm a slasher. That's a good example. Anyways, Freddy has these cameras. He can place on the wall so he can see where everybody is. Some some increase speed. Some can shoot people like the squid game one i forgot what its name is but that's how it is for slashers Ooh, okay yes guys so this is a slasher i'm using i really forgot his name exclamator or something i have no idea so i'm gonna be showing you guys a few tips i'm just sharing the tips and how i normally survive so basically the detection option when you just just spawn you can see those red dots those little red dots are the players that are um in the server that you need to kill so that's why your detection detector is always low on the first at first so basically i'm not very good at being the slasher guys just so you know i'm very bad at being the slasher but like my ability is i think i can get i get i can shoot people far away people i think i get to shoot them if they are there and then you can just taunting basically means you can use the voice you have like that's the one i have you can get um different slashes with uh, different um let's say like different voices so like the bunny says see you soon like that they say things they make sounds so it's all different and basically survival night depends on sounds guys everything sounds like um if you're a slasher right and i want to catch somebody i can hear breathing sounds from people so that has to be catch people okay okay that 
has to catch people and then if you are the player right like you are not you're a survivor that's it so if you are a survivor um you want you your heartbeat the more your heartbeat increases the closer the slasher is to you right so if your heartbeat is really fast then the slasher is really close to you so that's how it works and um that's it i'm really bad at being slasher i would normally keep my slasher off i don't know why i kept it on this time so basically protection so you can see two people are over there so i just realized i was going the wrong direction how do i get back up can i not get back up but that's few, normally my tips guys um i would more prefer to hide than because a few of my friends they do like to um just like explore the map and then if they, if they hear the slasher they'll just attack it but then then they do end up dying sometimes so i prefer not to do that i just prefer to hide because it increases my um like surviving chances okay i found somebody guys i found somebody it will normally just increase my chances of surviving hiding because some slashers are like real pros and you never know you know it's like you you might die because it's running basically you can't really outrun a survivor sorry a slasher i don't think you can though because like a slasher is much faster but you know like some people this is this is how my friends do it it does work sometimes for noob slashers like me some people okay some people have healing abilities some have um like iron lungs okay i have an idea some people have iron lungs and some people have uh, um like breathing sound speed everything like that guys but that is my tip though basically i don't really have much more to say um just wanted to share a few tips to you guys i will be trying a few roblox edits so i hope you guys enjoyed that and that's it for this video guys see you later bye